In this video, you'll be learning about the differences between a one-way slab and a two-way slab. And we'll be doing that with respect to the following things. So we'll be going through the deflection behavior, the support arrangements, the longer and the shorter span ratio, the load transfer mechanism, the reinforcement layout, and we'll be comparing the one-way slab with the two-way slab. Now, if you want to skip to any of these sections, everything is given down in the timestamps. So if you know some of the things and want to skip through, you are most welcome to do that. Let's start off by understanding how a one-way slab behaves. So this is just a short animation as to how a one-way slab supported on either two walls or two beams is going to behave. So as you can see, there is going to be a primary deflection angle. So this is primarily deflecting in just one angle or rather along one axis. However, if I were to take a same slab, but not support it on two sides, but rather on four sides, but it being a one-way slab, again, the behavior will be very much similar to what we saw earlier. So the deflection is going to be in one direction only. Compare this to a two-way slab where it is supported on all the four sides, the deflection is going to be something like this. So it will deflect along both the directions, along the X direction also, along the Y direction also. Now in this case, of course, I am assuming one of the directions to be X direction and one of the directions to be Y direction. So it is going to be deflecting along both the directions. Now, having gone through the animation and understanding how the slab behaves or rather deflects, let, let's understand the deflection behavior itself. So in case of a one-way slab, the deflection is a cylindrical deflection, also, uh, also called a parabolic deflection. In two-way slabs, it's going to be a spherical deflection. Looking at it with respect to the support arrangements, now a one-way slab could either be supported on one beam. So if it is supported on one beam, the deflection is going to be what you would see on a one-way slab. This usually happens in case of cantilever slabs. With respect to two beams also, as we saw earlier in the animation, if it is supported on two beams only, the deflection is going to be only along one of the directions, which is free, thereby giving it the name of one-way slab. And it can also happen in slabs which are supported on all the four sides by either beams or walls. Now the same thing is not true for two-way slab. For a two-way slab, it will only be possible if it is supported on all the four sides by either beams or walls. Let's look at this supported on four beams or rather four directions. And let's understand how you would define the difference between one and the other. Now this is usually done by analyzing the ratio of the shorter span and the longer span. The ratio of these two, if greater than two, is going to be the slab which is going to be a one-way slab. Now, in case of a two-way slab, the LY by LX ratio is usually less than or equal to two. And if it is less than two, it is going to be called a two-way slab. Now, let's look at the load transfer mechanism. In case of one-way slab, the load transfer mechanism is going to be one directional only because the main deflection is along one direction only. However, in two-way slab, the since the deflection is along both the axes, the load transfer is also going to be along both the axes. That is, it is going to be a two-directional load transfer. Now, as per IS 456-2000, loads on supporting beams, you can see that if, if in order to calculate the loads on beam supporting solid slabs, you can simply go ahead and use this figure, figure 7. This figure 7 basically says that the loads are transferred as follows. So for this beam B, which is going to be this beam right here, this is going to be the load which it, it is going to be taking. That is a 45 degree angle and a trapezoid. For this A part, this is going to be the load that the A part is going to be taking. Now again, this is in terms of a two-way slab arrangement. So let's look at a two-way slab with respect to this. So if I were to have, say, almost a squarish slab, this is going to be a triangle in all the four directions with these angles being, with these angles being 45 degree each. So all these are going to be 45 degree, 45 degree, 45 degree, and so on. Now in a triangle, this LY by LX is almost equal to one, and hence this is going to be a two-way slab. Now if I were to just increase this LY by keeping the LX constant, and keep it such that the LY by LX is less than or equal to two, again, the load transfer mechanism will be similar. So these shorter beams will be taking the load, which is equivalent to a triangular load, However, this longer beams will be taking the load which is equivalent to this trapezoidal load. Now, we saw this as per the Indian Standard Code as well. Now, if I were to increase it further, such that the LY by LX becomes greater than 2, the load deflection or rather the load transfer becomes very simple. In this case, only this longer span 
or rather in this case the longer span is going to be taking the load and now the load is going to be taken as a rectangular load this beam which is represented right here in the form of lx this is not going to be taking any load this as well as this is not going to be taking any loads this however will be taking the load of this entire rectangle similarly this beam right here is going to be taking the load of this entire rectangle this is how the load mechanism works or rather rather the load transfer mechanism works let's move ahead to the reinforcement arrangement for a one-way slab as well as a two-way slab now this is going to be as per sp34 1987 a handbook on concrete reinforcement and detailing in which as per clause 9.3.1 which talks about slab spanning in one direction that is basically a one-way slab you can see that such a slab is a slab which is just supported on two sides by either walls or beams. This we have already seen. Now this slab is considered as spanning in one direction even if the slab is supported on all the four sides. So we saw that if the support arrangement was on the four sides, this can become a one-way slab only if the effective length of the slab exceeds two times its effective width. That is the LY by LX is greater than two. So this we have already seen. Now I'm not showing it just for this part but rather for this part right here that is the bars in the longer direction of the slab are called distribution or transfer steel so in this case we will have two directions to apply or rather provide reinforcement one along the longer direction will be a distribution steel that is a minimum steel which has to be provided now this is done primarily to assist in case of stresses which are created as a result of superimposed loading temperature changes shrinkage etc however if i were to go to the two-way slab arrangement in this case you can see this is going to be a slab spanning in two direction where ly by lx is less than or equal to two it can be supported on four, four brick walls or on four beams in this case since the slab is spanning in both the directions the reinforcement is also to be provided in both the directions as main reinforcement next up it talks about the positioning of the reinforcement layers so what we understand is that in a one-way slab for one of the directions that is the shorter direction will be providing what is called the main steel which is going to be taking the main load or the uh, or which will be assisting in the main deflection or rather to avoid the main deflection for the direction two will be just providing the distribution steel for a two-way slab since the slab is deflecting along both the directions we have to provide main steels along both the directions now this is what it will look like so if we have a slab one-way slab right here along the shorter direction along which it is particularly bending will be providing the main steel and along the longer direction will be providing what is called the distribution steel so this is the minimum steel for the two-way slab along the shorter direction as well as along the longer direction in both the directions will be providing the main steel so this is the primary difference or this is the overview of the differences which we went ahead for the deflection behavior one-way slab is going to be cylindrical two-way slab is going to be spherical the support arrangement if it is supported on one beam or two beams or walls for that matter this is going to be a one-way slab now one-way slab can be supported on four beams but so can a two-way slab be now to understand if it is a one-way slab or a two-way slab we'll have to go through the longer to shorter span ratio if that ratio is greater than two it is going to be a one-way slab if it is less than or equal to two it is going to be a two-way slab now the load transfer mechanism is simple in case of one-way slab because it is going to be deflected in one direction only and hence the load which is going to be taken by the beams or rather the longer beams is going to be rectangular only and this load transfer is being done only on two of the beams however in case of two-way slabs the load transfer is going to be two directional because the deflection is two directional and the load transfer will be in, in the form of triangular and trapezoidal loads now this load transfer is going to be on all the four beams as far as the reinforcement layout goes along the shorter span we'll be having the main steel and along the longer span we'll be having the distribution steel in case of one-way slab for the two-way slab along the shorter as well as along the longer direction will be having the main steel so this is everything there is to know about the difference between one-way slab and two-way slab now this video was short i hope you liked it and if you did please hit that like button it really helps with the youtube algorithm if you have any suggestions please leave them down in the comments below i would love to make a video on it thank you for watching this video i'll see you on the next one